Great stuff. Here we go. Saturday morning boot camp, 30th of May. Just got to find, get onto the page. Just check her up and running. Here we go then. Hope you've had a good week. Sun is shining. I would do these things outside when it's like this, but the main phone that I use for the recording has a tendency to overheat very quickly. So if I put it in the sun and then try and use it for a 40 minute workout, it's going to overheat real quick. So, yeah, we're up and running. Next door neighbor's dog in the background. Let me turn it upstairs. Here we go then. So let's get moving, jumping on the spot. And then we've got our 30 rounds boot camp. Sounds a lot when we say it, just the 30 rounds. And we're going to ease up as we get into it. So easy through the warm up. to a jog. There we go. Okay, easing down. Let's mobilise forward and back with the head. Stretching that neck off and the upper body muscles, traps, back to the shoulders. They get pretty tight when we sleep. We get ourselves in funny positions across the pillow. So good to stretch them off. That's before we even start thinking about sitting at a computer working all day, that sort of thing, especially with home working. Great job. Okay, let's roll the shoulders back first and then forward. Ease that round. Forward again. Stuff. From the hips then, twisting round. Okay, then knees up and round. moving all the different joints and then our kind of one static movement for the warm-up is down to that little squat down easy and just getting the glutes hamstrings quads all stretched as I set the timer up sure we've got full volume for the beeps there we go all right, we're going to do one final little pulse raise. Have we gone? Boot camp 57. There we go. Little pulse raise, jog on the spot, punch out to the front, up to the top, and back to the front. Here we go then. All right, so we take it round loosely, lower, upper, core cardio, those sorts of exercises in that rough sort of order. Some of these I'll jump to the mat just because more comfortable to on a wooden floor. You can just do it in place, carpet's great. Uh, that is absolutely fine, you don't need a mat necessarily. And we're gonna work through, so I'll just do quickly do the first four or five exercises and then keep shouting them out as we go. So first off today we're gonna do a squat, back up, reverse lunge, then squat again, 
reverse lunge on the other side. So we're getting all the kind of lower body, body muscles involved straight off. Then we're going to go to a forward lunge. This will make sure we've got everything fully stretched out and mobilized before we get into some of the faster stuff. Third exercise, shoulder touch plank, nice and stable, planking round like so. Then up to jumping jacks. And it will go down to the mat for a crunch, but a tension crunch, as if we're going to crunch up one, two, and back down. That'd be the first five, so we'll work through, then we'll just keep on going into more lower upper cardio and keep working around. Loosely, well, it is in a rotation of 10 exercises, so we'll go around for three rounds. Here we go then, 10 second countdown, squat, and then a single reverse lunge each time. Try and make each part nice and distinctive, in the sense of we squat, come back up, and then reverse lunge. Counting down, and here we go. Today's boot camp. So we're squatting, one reverse lunge, back up, squat again, other side. So we're not looking to race through it, we're looking for that good form, nice and distinctive each time with each movement. We've got plenty to go at today, so we'll just keep working through. movement so I have to concentrate. 20 seconds to go but I'll try and get 20 second shout out each round. It doesn't always happen. I can't quite see the time depending on the move that we're doing. We're getting that whole lower body stretched off. Feeling that after yesterday's workout. Great stuff. Okay a little bit of space. Forward lunge. Remember slightly out just to keep everything nice and stable. There's a slight V shape. I've got the lines on the floor from the wooden floor. And I'm just going, leaving around about two, two floorboards width as I lunge across ever so slightly. We're gonna make this more distinctive with another exercise later on to a wider lunge, but for now, just take it out of touch each time. 20 seconds, nice and smoothly through. Shoulder touch plank next. So we're going to set up a top plank and a touch round to each shoulder. Easing through. Great job. There we go. Okay, just setting that plank up. Nice and stable. Let's get ready. Three. Two, one, up tight, and focus on the plank being good first, then touching across, slight rotation, keeping it all nice and steady. seconds focusing on the plank. Ten to go now. Up to jumping jacks next. Up we come. Ten seconds. Okay, so we're starting to ramp it up now. Good stuff. Here we go. Three, two, one. Steady round. Fifty seconds. Picking it up now. seconds, focus on through, keep this in these 20s, two, for one, great stuff, first floor exercise then, tension crunch, 
And what we want to do is get a one, two in. That's a couple. So squeeze one, two. So focus on that tension in the abs. One, two, and down. And down. Good stuff. In again. Just keeping that moving and squeezing. One, two, back out. Next off, rib two, squat hold, 10 seconds at a time. Great job. In again. Another couple, finish this off. One more, through the bell. Three, two, one. Great job. Up we come. So, Next up, squat hold 10 seconds at a time. Then we're down to a regular press up or a monkey press up. So 10 seconds, hold it in, nice and strong. Three, two, one, up and back in. 10 seconds at a time, build that tension into the quads. Nice strong sit. Three, two, one, up and out, back in. So nice and quick transition. If you need to stand for longer, just to ease off that tension, stand it for that little bit longer. Get that lactic acid, just go out quickly and then back in again. Great job. Here we go, three, two, one. Great stuff, one more, right through the bell. Then we're down to our first press up variation. Three, two, one, good stuff. This could be a regular press up. Just a regular press up, full or knees, or up that scale, hips up into a monkey press up. So that means nose and chest sweeping down and pushing back out. Just more shoulder, more focus into the shoulders if you're doing the monkey press up. You can do this from your knees as well. It's just not going to be as big a movement. You can drop that down and we're more into there. So make sure we're pushing back with the hands. Hips up. Try and keep my legs from bending. They don't move. It's out of the shoulder push. Nose and chest towards the floor. That was miserable on the 20 second warning there. Okay, a little bit more cardio. We're going to jump forward and shuffle back. So, little jump forward, little run back. Jumping forward, running back. Just keep the jump as short as you need to, or as long as you've got. If you want, you can do two little jumps. Then shuffle back, just make it the right sort of scale for you. Just off, 20 seconds. That's it, a broad jump forward. 10 seconds, get two or three more in. Lower body exercise. Next. Is it? That's it. Oh, it's not. It's an abs exercise. Then we're down to high knees. So we're going for leg lift. And we bring the hands up to meet it. Little squeeze up. Stretch out. Leg lift. Hands up to meet it. So high knees after this. Finish around the 10. So we're focusing on the leg lift more than pushing the hands up. The hands are just coming around. It's a nice counterbalance. Stretch out each time, just inside 20 seconds. But we come. In again. Boom. Great job. High knees next. And then 
out and up squat and toe tap plank or plank jacks here we go high knees then running it through on the spot great work Pacing this up. Keep it moving. Ten seconds. Great job. Okay. Easy that down. Great job. So out and up squat. We start wide and pop that in. Drop the pop. Here we go. So start wide. Now squat. Pop it up. Pop it back out. Into a squat and out. Bring that back up and in. Toe tap plank or plank jacks next, 15 seconds. Great job. Here we go then. Toe tap plank or plank jacks. Set that up. Strong plank, tapping out, or oh. those plank jack legs in and out. Next up, we've got a V lunge, nice and wide, or oh. and then we're going to the seal jacks. So keep this moving, plank jacks. You swap down if you want to the toe taps anytime. Just try and keep moving, hips down, chest up a touch. Just keeping that going. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, four. Great job. Okay, nice, wide, big lunge coming up next. Separate the leg ones out this time. So, you want to be able to step out and across a lot more, keep that comfortable. So in terms of knee alignment, things like that, just work that out as best you can. Out we go. Great stuff. Twenty seconds coming up. Here we go. Keep it moving. Keep it strong. Ten seconds now. Seal jacks next. And then knees to chest. Crunch back on the mat. And finish this side. Great stuff. Seal jacks then next. In and out. Arms coming across the front. Here we go. Halfway. And now we're just here. 20 seconds to go, keep working through. Two, one, boom. great job. Okay, knees to chest, crunch. 
So make sure we lie this back a touch and then bring it in. Nice and controlled. Use those hands nice and light to support your upper body, but use the body going back, legs coming in, counteract each other. Nice squeeze at the top. That's what's going to work the abs, keeping it nice and steady. We'll go too fast and just working the legs, not dropping the body back, we'll end up with a hip flexor exercise and the tops of the legs in here start to burn way too much. 20 seconds to go. In and out. Just keep that working. Not check what we're on next. We're probably on a squat exercise. 10 seconds to go. Really good. Two, one, four. Great job. Up and come. Oh, it's a good one. It's a squat pattern. It's a monster walk or a duck walk. So you don't need too much space. You're going to drop down nice and low and walk it through. Now once the walk is a little bit higher, like this, nice and slow, keeping that tension in. If you want to scale this up, you can drop even lower into a duck walk, which is real slow, real precise, like taking duck steps. After this, oh, squat thrust plank, or adding a press up if you want. 20 seconds inside that. Just keep that monster wall going. Or that duck walk if you're down nice and low. Get those hips right down, low as you can. 10 seconds to go. Just a small walk forward, one meter is enough. And then back, only little small steps. Great job. Okay, squat thrust plank. It means you're holding a plank, adding a squat thrust. Every few seconds. So in, out, hold, add a press up if you want. In, out, hold, add that press up if you want. Really good. Up to cardio next, heel flicks. Get a good distinctive hold before you press up. Inside that 20 seconds or 15 now. A few more reps and we're there. Hold it. That finish strong. Great job. Okay, heel flips next. So coming up and flicking around. No spotty dogs today. Anywhere else, so if you want, you can switch these to spotty dogs if the heel flicks. It's too much knee extension, knee flexion, kicking back. Working through. Three more exercises this round. No, two more, sorry, for this. We're gonna go for a dish hold and alternate fly arms. So, real strong core abs exercise. And then we'll switch over to mountain climbers. Great job. Just keeping that moving. 20 seconds now. As I say, this could be spotted dogs if you prefer. If this is too much knee flexion. Great job. Two, one, boom. Excellent. Okay, so this dish hold is like a gymnastics move. Gymnastics something move. Legs out, slightly up with the feet. And slightly up with the upper body, so we're holding nice and strong, and then start both hands at the top, one out at a time. Keep things strong and nice and steady. If you want, as the hand comes up, you can have a little push up, but it's not much, just a little squeeze. Mountain climbers after this, or it can be steadier as a knee tuck. 20 seconds to go. Easier without 
Here we go. So this can be steady if you want. It can be a knee tuck. But obviously keep moving. Keep pushing. Two thirds of the way done after this. This is exercise 20. 10 to go. Back up after this to squat. 20 seconds. Good work guys. Keeping it going. Keeping it moving. Hips down as much as you can. Three, two, one. Woo! You can look today. Great job. Okay. Travelling squats side to side. We start close and moving across. So it's a little squat in the middle, then across to the side. A little squat in the middle again, back across to the side. On three distinctive lateral squat positions. Side, middle, side. If you keep it quite low, it's going to really work into the quads. It's going to work the quads, even if you're standing up each time, in between each. That is absolutely fine as well. And we'll just keep moving side to side. Great job. Double up on the legs, 15 seconds here, reverse lunges or jump lunges next. So powering through this last round of 10. After that, up and down plank, lost my rhythm, talking, great job, okay. Reverse lunges or jump lunges, so move laterally, now we're going to move back and forth, there we go. So reverse lunge. Stepping back, back up, alternate sides, that's cool, or we can set up that split lunge and pop that round, make sure you get a good distinctive landing and a good lunge each time. Twenty seconds to go. Power this round. Oh, kick your butt today. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, one. Great job. Okay. Up and down plank, and then up to jog and punch. Here we go. So start at the top and hold in each position two seconds one two up here we go and rotate it round hips down each time up again and again up we come there we go at the top. Great job. Okay, up and out. Drop and punch next and then crunch and punch. Straight back in. Go jogging, punching, throw these punches. Good. Push that cardio now. Great job. Cranking it out, 20 seconds to go. Two, one, great job. Okay, back to the mat, crunch and punch, and then after that, up to squat to toes or jump squats. 
So, pop these punches, one, two. You don't want to be all the way up, part way up. Just when you're punching something that's between your knees. Look up, so I want to put tension in. One, two, and hold a little line for a little time with each punch, each combo of two. So, up, one, two. It's actually two second squeeze. In again. Good job. Here we go. toes, so not too wide, push it up, push it up, get those calves working as well, good squat each time, or taking this to a jump off the floor, just as high as you want to do, point those toes, it's just taking the same movement to a more dynamic place, popping off the floor, you can always do a few reps jumping back to the squat to toes, and swap it through, or just keep going now. 20 seconds. Close grip press up coming up to get those triceps working. Then again. Two. Go on. Good stuff. Last three then. Close grip press up. Last four, close grip press up. <laughs> so, hands tucked under the body and moving that through. Could also be on the knees. Who wants to slightly turn the hands out? Helps to keep the elbows tucked and we're really working those triceps. Keeping it controlled, keeping it steady. Adding more tension by slowing things down. Muscles work from tension. There's applications for speed and power, but we want more out of crunches or out of planks or press ups. We slow them down. Now we've got three to go. And next up, oh, skaters. So, to reverse, back a reverse lunge, we're going across. That's a curtsy lunge, that's cool. A little reach down, and then we can make these more dynamic with a little poppy jump and send it across. If we've got too much space, take it sideways. Just watch where your feet land. If you've got a mat out, go on your sliding. And just kick that back leg across, working in. Nice little stretch into the glutes each time. 20 seconds to go. Out and up, reverse, crunch to come. 10 seconds here, two exercises left. Let's keep it moving. Three, two, one, boom. Great job, okay. Out and up. Reverse left crunch, then high knees to finish. So here we go. So support the hips up and up. Squeeze those hips up. Really get the bottom of the core. The abs working hard. That only works if the hips come out and above the line of the body. If this is not great for your back, your supporting muscles. Then switch to a regular crunch. Just squeeze each rep. 20 seconds to go. And one more after this. Ah, almost there. Let's get one more. Up and out. Great job. Finishing each round as close as you can to fully done last one then 
50 seconds on the spot. Get the knees up to where you can. Get the speed where you can. And just keep moving, guys. Five seconds. Walk it through. Let's try and keep going. Lift it a touch more if you can. 25 seconds. 20 seconds coming up. Here we go. Let's keep going now. Whatever you've got left, just keep moving. Keep those knees pumping. timer great work really good so nice little stretch out to the front stretching this off from this side when I'm watching myself can't see who is potentially on but uh, yeah very very great workout this morning enjoying part way through Pretty quickly after it has been uh, after the video finishes, takes a little time to upload to you again, and uh, later on I'll add in the exercises, little workout card into the comments, and then uh, yeah, full replay will be around about tomorrow from the YouTube link as well to save all these workouts up to YouTube. Uh, so if you go across to my YouTube account from the links, then uh, yeah, it's all there. All the Wednesdays and Saturday boot camps, all available to watch again. And you can find those on the website as well on the live workouts page, third page across, I think, mwfitness.net. Okay, arm across. So we're doing a front stretch, out to the front, upper back. It's going to be chest stretch, you know, to get across the shoulders. And then we'll go to a quick lower body stretch after this. Any stretches that are good for you, they're the ones to do. I just go through, kind of, generic's the wrong word, but a basic routine that's accessible to most people, but obviously we're all different, we all have different uh, pre-existing conditions, things are working around, things that work better, so feel free to jump those, put those uh, stretches in. Nice little stretch down. I have to say though, with the consistency of doing these sorts of workouts and stretching after every single one, plus doing my stretch workout every week in uh, MW Fitness Online, in the private group, definitely come on leaps and bounds with the flexibility. So, uh, yeah, definitely something worth considering. And I share one of those stretch workouts every Thursday in my training and coaching Facebook group, which is uh, it's a private group, but it's free. So anyone would like to join just for the workouts I put in there from the archives, stretch workouts, weekly Q&A, and, &A, and uh, yeah, all the details of any programs and things I've got going, always uh, in there as well. So yeah, quick search for that. Link from this page, across to that. So uh, yeah, very welcome to jump into that group. So stretch it down to this deep squat. Not a straight, right, not the best stretch for everyone, but pretty good for most people. Nice little stretch down. So yeah, any more information about any of the programs, anything I've got going? Uh, most things run month to month. So brand new month starting on Monday. So MW Fitness Online goes around again in terms of another monthly kind of focus challenge that we do. Just roll them around in that group. All the details, mwfitness.net. And uh, yeah, be really happy to see you in the training and coaching group or check out the website. Hope you've had a great workout this morning. If you watch this again later, also you have a great workout. And uh, yeah, have a really good weekend. Weather is here looking awesome. Nice breeze on as well. So hopefully it's good where you are and you have a great weekend. Take care, guys.
great work, guys.